Hey everyone, it's Sonia from UnrealTech.net here with another CryEngine tutorial for you. So I just wanted to show you guys something really quick that I uh, noticed. There are tutorials out there for CryEngine that have been around for a good couple of years at least now. However, they are for CryEngine 3, um, the SDK. And so a lot of people are having issues saying they can't follow the tutorials because they've changed the UI so much. Now, they have changed the UI in CryEngine. However, they have not changed very much of the underlying source code. They've updated a few things for sure, but it's mostly the UI that's changed in the sandbox editor. If you go into your CryTech folder, CryEngine 5, under your editor... And then under R, where are we? Rather under the engine, am I looking for? Under bin, that is, rather, sorry. So you have sandbox.exe, which is the CryEngine 5. You can see build 191, hotfix 2. And so that's the one everyone um, is trying to follow the old tutorials with. And you can work with it if you've, uh, if you've used the SDK before. You know where everything is. But it's a lot different. However, what people don't know because they don't advertise it, if you go into this folder, so that's CryTech, CryEngine 5.0, bin, WinX64, or Win32, if it's in your case, there's Sandbox Legacy, and I've right-clicked and pinned this to start or send a shortcut to desktop. When following those old SDK tutorials on YouTube or paid or whatever, Sandbox Legacy is set up exactly like... 3.x except for with version 5 and of course you can't use it yeah you can use it offline um so as you can see you have the old SDK style editor here so much as even having the X Y and Z location that I love so much um, so you have the old Scott the old style SDK editor so it's called sandbox legacy and I actually find it easier to use uh, it just doesn't have as much polish obviously but if you're if you're following old SDK version 3 CryEngine tutorials go into the legacy sandbox editor until you get used to everything and that'll make the transition much easier while you wait for tutorials to come out for CryEngine 5. Which again, nothing's really changed under the hood too much. It's just they, they spiffed up the, uh, the sandbox editor. So hopefully that uh, helps you guys in learning the engine because you can follow all the old tutorials basically to a T. So anyways, this is Insania from Unreal Tech. We will see you guys next time. Remember, create your way.